Hey you guys, it's Rachel here with Senza Tempo Cani Corso. So I'm here at the vet with Blondie. Um, decided that it was best to just go ahead and have her checked out since today is Friday. And um, you never want to go into a weekend not knowing whether or not you need to see the vet. So she had a little bit of discharge like her mother did last time. So I want to go ahead and have it checked out and put her on antibiotics if that's what's necessary. Um, she's got some heavy panting, she's nervous. Most dogs are nervous going to the vet, so it's totally normal. Um, she's in good spirits, she looks good. She's a little bloated, but no big deal. And um, not, not anything really like dripping out, so that's hopefully a good sign. Um, so. But yeah, but better safe than sorry, I always say. Especially, especially if um, you're going into a weekend, it's always the best idea to just get it, you know, get it looked at. <clears throat> she weighs 95 pounds. Um, not a small female, um, you know, but um, not gigantic either. So yeah. I've had a lot of people ask why her tail is so short. That's because the original vet that did it um, didn't do the, the correct dock. And in her defense, um, I had taken Velocity up there for reference because I thought um, she was a puppy and I thought that her, that her tail was correct because I got Velocity from the same person that I got Preacher from and Preacher's tail is correct. And so I thought, well, maybe her tail was just gonna grow or something, but it didn't. And so they um, did the whole litter's tails really short. But um, I do have video of Blondie and her siblings when they were first born <clears throat> with their tails still intact. So there were no abnormalities or anything with her tail or any of the other's tails. Um, it just was just an incorrect docking and unfortunately it's actually kind of common with this breed it's difficult to for a lot of people to get the right um to get the right spot hold on i'm gonna get up so um anyway but she's doing good um She does have this crazy like hat on her head, which I always thought was really interesting, like a straight line here. I always wondered if it was because whenever they did her ears, they shaved all the hair off of her head here for some reason. Um, so yeah, she's got some pretty gnarly gas right now. <laughs> Not gonna lie, that's why I said she's a little bloated. She's pretty gassy. But she's doing good. I'm surprised she's not doing a lot of whining or anything like that. So, um, but yeah, I fed her as well before we came. I try to feed my pregnant dogs in the morning and um, in the evening so that they don't um, get sick to their stomach. Because I remember that whenever I was pregnant, <clears throat> I mean, if I didn't have something to nibble on, the minute that I got, um, the minute that I got hungry, it was like, I had like a second, I was like hungry, and then so hungry that I was sick and throwing up. Um, like, like couldn't eat, I was so hungry, like nauseous. So I do try to do that for them. And like, oh my God, y'all, this gas is so bad. I think that she got into something that was outside, um, it honestly looked like poop, I'm going to be honest with you. But as far as I know, nobody was, you know, doing that. Because it wasn't dog poop, clearly. I spoke with Alex about it, and he thinks that maybe that it was like a hog or something. So I'm not really sure. Um, so yeah. Whew, good God, man. She is just, ooh, that's intense. And I know it's that because it smells just like it. <laughs> Sorry if that's TMI for you guys, but, um, but yeah, it's pretty bad. So, um, yeah, Cashmere's looking good. Um, I haven't seen any kind of discharge out of her at all. Um, she 
she doesn't look as big to me as she did originally, so I don't know what kind of litter size she's going to have. Maybe it's totally normal and Blondie's just throwing me off because she, she actually looks bigger. But I don't know if that's because she has like an infection or something like that or she's just going to have a bigger litter. I don't know. But um, it does have me nervous. So we'll see what happens. She's acting pregnant and everything. But, um, but anyway, but there's just no telling. Honestly, most dogs don't even show this early. They're literally just a couple weeks in. But, um, but anyway. So, yeah. Yeah, I love this vet, too. They, um, I called them this morning, and they were able to fit me in at around, I think I called them around, like, 11 this morning. And they had me in by, uh, I think it's, like, 1.15. So, you can't beat that kind of service. They know me. They've seen many of my dogs. So, um, so anyway, so, um, it's much appreciated because with something like this, it's extremely time sens sensitive. You don't want for her to reabsorb the embryos, and that's what can happen. They, they don't have, like, a miscarriage at this point, but they will reabsorb. So, hopefully... Um, like, like cashmere will get it in time and it won't be a problem. So I did speak with Savannah about the fact that she hasn't been really good about, um, Blondie's nails. I had to do them today because they were so long that there was no way I was going to bring her out into the open with nails like that because it's embarrassing and it's honestly not fair to them, but you know, a typical teenager, <clears throat> you know, she, it just, you know, doesn't cross her mind. She's done it a couple times, but it, obviously it's something that has to be maintained. And so, um, so anyway, so I went ahead and did it today since Savannah's not here. She's obviously at school. So, but, um, they're still longer than they should be. Um, but they're at least short enough to where they're not tapping and it's not super embarrassing or anything like that. But um, as I say, if they're, tacking, if they're tapping, you're slacking. Do you see how fat she looks right now? That is not, that's not food, that's not pregnancy, that's gay ass. <clears throat> stinky, stinky, stinky gas. <laughs> But anyway, yeah, but she's looking good. Hopefully, um, most likely what they'll do is they'll do a swab and, um, and um, test it and then let me know, um, you know, what the bacteria count is and that'll give me a better idea of, of what we're looking at. Because I know with <clears throat> cashmere, it was there, but it wasn't bad because we caught it so fast. And so hopefully it'll be the same with Blondie. So, and that's another benefit to me having my dogs inside the way that I do, is because when something goes on like that, I see it immediately. People whose dogs are in their kennels, they don't see that. Um, you know, they might go out and feed the dogs, but they, they don't have the ability to be as hands-on as I am. So yeah. Stay, no. She's so sweet, I swear. She, she's like, let me love you. Sit down. Sit down. Girl, you better sit your butt down right now. Sit. Sit. I swear. So. Oh. Good, how are you? Okay, sorry you guys. I don't like to um, record when the vet's here. Just out of, out of privacy. Maybe one day we'll all be close enough that I feel like I can do that, but I don't know why I'm, I don't know why, but I try to be polite and I don't like to put people on the spot. So I haven't asked them yet, but anyway, um, they're going to give her some antibiotics. Um, and I did ask them about the chloride levels. And so she's going uh, of that one dog that I, um, looked into the electrolyte imbalance. Um, and she did say that. Um, a fever um, of 105.9 um, would have would have probably caused seizures anyway. She said when a dog comes in 
from heat exhaustion with like a 106 temperature, they're, she says their brain fries and they're already overheating. So that was really interesting as well. Um, but yeah, so we're just gonna get her on antibiotics and we're gonna check back and everything else sounded good. They listened to her heart. She does not have a fever. She behaved herself quite well. And yeah, everything seems good. So I just wanted to give you guys a little update. And I think they're gonna give her Clavamox. So, and they were thinking about giving her like an anti-inflammation um, in case we needed it, but we decided to hold off until Monday if we need it, but most likely she'll be fine. So, okay, yay. Uh, one, uh, one last thing to worry about. So I'll talk to you guys later. Bye.